Okay, merging two sequential files. Okay, standard little algorithm. I'm just going to draw up a couple of files. The prerequisites required for this you must have keys in sequence. I'll stop that one there. And you must have no duplicates. So let's just put some key numbers in here. Okay, so we've got two files in there. Right, the basic structure of this, open a set of files and a new one that we're going to create and close them all off at the bottom. Reading a couple of numbers. So this will crash if we don't have at least one item in each um, file. Okay, so we must have that. We must have some files to merge, otherwise no point in doing it. And the basic structure is we just keep reading in from these two files until we've written all of the data out to the new one. All right. And because we want to maintain order, for each pair of numbers from each file that we're reading, we just say, right, are they, which is the smallest, and we'll write that one out. Okay, so we're just going to quickly run through this algorithm, just to see it working, and we'll keep track of what num A and num B is, and what we've written out. So, new file content in that right-hand column. Okay, so on the first bit there, after we've got the files, we're reading from A and B, so A is 5 and num B is 4. So we're doing if, say, right, okay, which is smaller? Well, 4 is obviously smaller, so that gets written out. Okay, so if we've gone for num B is smaller, we then need to, like, get another item from B. So we've read that one. I'm cross that one out as well, because we've read that. So this will only work if we've actually got data in the file. So we do a test for end of file. So if we haven't got end of file, let's read something in. Okay, now you implement that in code depends on the language and the environment you're using. Okay, but this is just like the, the algorithm, so this is just the process that needs to be gone through. Okay, so we're reading a 9. What that then drops us down is at the until. They're both still open, so we go back up to the if statement. So we say, which is the smaller again? This time it's A, so we write out the 5, and we need to read in the next item. Okay, we're not at the end, so we were all right to read in. So 7 and 9, we get back round to that if, compare, 7 smaller, that gets written out. We read in another one from A. Now we've exhausted A, so the algorithm will change in a minute. So compare again, so we write out the 9, need to read another item from B. Compare again, write out the 10, read another item from B. 11 is smaller. Read another item from B, which is going to be 24. All right, compare again, 15. So we want to write, read another item from A, but we get hit by this end of file. That is not going to activate this code now. So we end up dropping down into the else part, okay, because we are at end of file. So we say, right, okay then, let's just keep reading everything from B and writing it out. And we'll keep doing that until we get to the end of B. And then what will happen is we will drop down and we'll get caught out by this until line, okay? Which will say, right, well, both files are, are empty. We're at the end of them. Let's just finish and close off, okay? So that's just going to cycle around reading and writing out. So the 24 goes out, reading the 27. The while loop will kick us out because we got to the end of file, okay? And then we finish off like you always should do when you're messing around with files. You close them. Okay. Normally when you're writing files, that will release a buffer and it will actually save it in a file rather than leaving it in memory. Okay, so that's merging. That's my fourth go at trying to get the camera right for this, but there you go. I'll leave that one as my master one.